welcome back to another Serial Killer Saturday, The Highway of Tears. This case has been highly requested, yet varies in so many different ways that I wasn't sure it could be part of the series. It seems the murders are works of one or more possible serial killers, and some of the cases are solved, while others are not. Many believe the number of murdered and missing women exceeds well beyond 40, so I will let you be the judge of whether or not belongs in the series. As the story goes on, you will see the faces and names of the victims, as well as their age at the time of their death or when they disappeared. The Highway of Tears is a series of murders and disappearances of women along the 720 kilometer or 450 miles section of Highway 16 between Prince George and Prince Rupert, British Columbia, Canada. These cases happened between 1969 until 2011. Highway 16 is northern British Columbia's east-west corridor, extending from Jasper in the east to Prince Rupert in the west. This route is a section of the Trans-Canada Yellowhead Highway, which spans British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. This rural region is plagued with poverty and lacks public transportation, leaving many residents turning to hitchhiking as a form of transit. To date, only one of these murders has been solved, for which Canadian serial killer Cody Lejbikoff was convicted in 2014. At the same trial, he was also convicted of the unrelated murders of three older women. Serial rapist Gary Taylor Handlin has been charged in two other cases. American criminal Bobby Jack Fowler is the prime suspect in three cases and is suspected by authorities of having murdered up to 10 or even 20 victims. A convicted serial rapist and suspected serial killer, he died in 2006 while imprisoned in the United States for other crimes. His DNA was matched in 2012 in one highway case, for which the RCMP believes he was the murderer. Fowler was known to have been working in BC during the period when several other women were found murdered. Authorities also have persons of interest in other cases, but insufficient evidence to press charges. Gloria Moody, 26, 1969. She was last seen on October 25th, leaving a bar in Williams Lake. Her body was found in the woods at a cattle ranch 10 kilometers away. Micheline Parr, 18, 1970. Last seen on Highway 29 at the gates of Tompkins Ranch, situated between Fort St. John and Hudson's Hope. Two women who had given her a ride had dropped her off there. Her body was found at Hudson's Hope on August 8th. Gail Ways, 19, 1973 in October, disappeared while hitchhiking from Clearwater to Kamloops. Her body was found in a ditch on Highway 5, south of Clearwater. Bobby Jack Fowler is the prime suspect. Pamela Darlington, 19, 1973, November vanished from Kamloops while hitchhiking to a local bar. Her body was found the next day. Bobby Jack Fowler again is the prime suspect. Monica Ignis, 14, 1974 December. She was believed to be going home from school when she was last seen on December 13, 1974 in Thornhill, British Columbia. Her body was found on April 6, 1975 east of Terrace. She had been strangled. Colleen McMillan, 16, 1974, August. Last seen leaving her home in Lac La Hache to hitchhike to a nearby friend's house. DNA evidence reveals a match to convicted American rapist and murder suspect Bobby Jack Fowler, who died in prison in 2006. Monica Jack, 12. 1978. For 17 years after she disappeared, Jack's fate was unknown. In June of 1995, forestry workers found skeletal human remains in a ravine off a logging road on Squakum Mountain, 
about 20 kilometers from where Monica's bike was found. Dental records and DNA testing confirmed her identity. Gary Taylor Hanlon was charged with the murders of Monica Jack and 11-year-old Kathy Mary Herbert, who was also thought to have been a victim of the Highway of Tears murders, based on DNA evidence. Maureen Mosey, 33. In 1981, Maury Mosey, 33, was believed to be hitchhiking from Salmon Arm to Kamloops in the British Columbia interior when she was last seen on May 8th of 1981. Her body was found the next day by a woman walking her dog along a road off the Trans-Canada Highway, about 16 kilometers east of Kamloops. She had been severely beaten. Shelley Ann Bescu, 16. 1983, several days after disappearing, personal items including clothing and blood droplets matching her blood type were found near the Athabasca River. Alberta Williams, 24. 1989, the body of Alberta Williams, 24, was found on September 25, 1989, about 37 kilometers east of Prince Rupert, British Columbia, near the Taiyi Overpass. She had been strangled and sexually assaulted. Cecilia Ann Nickel, 15. 1989, Cecilia Ann Nickel disappeared a year before her cousin Delphine Nickel. She was last reported in Smithers, British Columbia, near Highway 16. Delphine Nicol, 16. In 1990, Delphine Nicol vanished on June 13, 1990. The 15-year-old teenager was hitchhiking east from the town of Smithers, British Columbia. Ramona Wilson, 16, 1994. She was hitchhiking to her friend's home in Smithers, British Columbia on June 11th. Ramona's remains were found April 1995 near the Smithers Airport. Roxanne Thiara, 15, 1994. She went missing in Prince George on the July long weekend in 1994. She had worked as a prostitute and told a friend she was going out with a customer. She walked around the corner of a building and was never heard from again. Her body was found August 17th of 1994 in the bush along Highway 16, six kilometers east of Burns Lake. Alicia Leah Germain, 15, 1994 of December. She was found murdered on December 9, 1994, behind Haldi Road Elementary School, off Highway 16, outside of Prince George. Leah, 15, part native, was stabbed to death. Lana Derrick, 19. She was last seen in October of 1995 at a service station in Thornhill. Nicole Hoare, 25. 2002, police investigated convicted murder Leland Vincent Switzer. She's still missing. Tamara Chipman, 22. 2005, she was last seen in Prince Rupert, British Columbia, while hitchhiking east on Highway 16. Isla Sarek Auger, 14. In 2006, her body was found shortly after she went missing on February 2, 2006. A motorist found her in a ditch on Highway 16 near Tabor Mountain, nearly 20 kilometers east of Prince George. Lauren Don Leslie. In 2010, Cody Lejbikoff was convicted of first degree murder on September 11, 2014. Madison Scott, 20. In 2011, Madison Scott vanished near the infamous road on May 28, after attending a party. Police located her tent and truck, but the young woman remains missing. Madison was last seen during the early hours of May 28 at Hogsback Lake, 25 kilometers southeast of Vanderhoof. In 2005, the RCMP launched Project Epana, which focused upon the unsolved murders and disappearances of young women along Highway 16, 
throughout the past 37 years. E. Panna sought to discover if there was a single serial killer at work or a multitude of killers operating along the highway. The unit investigated nine cases in 2006, but by 2011, its caseload had doubled to 18. The victims involved within the EPANA investigation followed the criteria of being female, participating in a high-risk lifestyle, known to hitchhike, and were last seen or their bodies were discovered within a mile from Highway 16, Highway 97, and Highway 5. In the 2009-2010 year, EPANA received over $5 million in annual funding, but has since dramatically declined due to budget cutbacks, which greatly affected the Highway of Tears investigation. A 2014 Freedom of Information request stated that the task force had dropped from 70 officers to 12 officers over the past few years. EPANA is responsible for solving the murder of 16-year-old Colleen McMillan, who was killed in 1974 by the now-deceased American serial killer Bobby Jack Fowler. EPANA now considers Fowler a suspect in the murders of two other highway victims, Gail Ways and Pamela Darlington, both of whom were killed in the 70s. In 2014, investigations by EPANA and the Provincial Unsolved Homicide Unit brought murder charges against Gary Taylor Hanlon for the death of 12-year-old Monica Jack in 1978. EPANA is still investigating the remaining unsolved cases, although it is unlikely that all the murders and disappearances will be solved. In 2009, police converged on a property on Isle Pier in rural Prince George to search for the remains of Nicole Hoare a young tree planter who went missing on Highway 16 on June 21, 2002. The property was once owned by Leland Vincent Switzer, who is currently serving a prison sentence for the second-degree murder of his brother. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police also searched the property for other missing women from the Highway of Tears. However, no further actions followed the investigation. On September 25, 2012, the RCMP announced a link between the murders and deceased United States criminal Bobby Jack Fowler. His DNA was found on the body of Colleen McMillan, one of the presumed victims. Investigators first compiled a DNA profile of the perpetrator in 2007, but technology available at the time did not yet yield a strong enough sample. New technologies allowed police to re-examine the DNA in 2012 leading to the identification. In addition, Fowler is also strongly suspected of having killed both Gail Ways and Pamela Darlington in 1973. The RCMP believe that he may have also killed as many as 10 or possibly even 20 of the other victims. Several of the murders took place after Fowler's arrest in June of 1995. In 2014, Canadian serial killer Cody Lejbikov was convicted of the murder of Lauren Don Leslie in 2010. He was convicted of first-degree murder on September 11, 2014. In September 2016, the British Columbia Court of Appeal confirmed the original conviction. Lejbikov was aged 21 at the time of the murder. In December 2014, a serial rapist named Gary Taylor Hanlon was charged with the murders of Monica Jack and 11-year-old Catherine Mary Herbert, who was also thought to have been a victim of the Highway of Deers murders. Police said that Hanlon was previously a suspect, but they had not had enough evidence to charge him. In 2014, in December, an arrest was attributed to new advances in DNA analysis, but the specific details were not released. Despite Fowler and Lejbikoff having been identified as two of the killers in these cases, Investigators are doubtful that they will ever solve all of the murders. They do have persons of interest in several other cases, but not enough evidence to lay charges. Cases like these can be put on a shelf somewhere and collect dust, and eventually become forgotten. That is, unless we talk about them. Remember that these were real people with hopes and dreams and families. 
I have left some links in the comments section for you if you are interested in learning more about these cases. If you have any information about any of the cases featured here, you are urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. See you next time.